My quick review of the Wahoo Element Bolt V2. Six key things you need to know. The Element Bolt is a compact but fully featured GPS bike computer. It records and displays all sorts of important stats about your ride, speed, distance, heart rate, distance to the pub. It has full onboard navigation. Select a point on the map and the Bolt will route you there. Go off course and it'll recalculate. You can also upload routes if that's what tickles your pickles from all the usual apps, Strava, Komoot, and of course Wahoo's own Element app. The Bolt connects to a cornucopia of data sensors and can control workouts on your smart trainer should you like being dominated. A word of caution though, it's not a touchscreen. I repeat, it's not a touchscreen. Only buttons does it have. Give you that info what you will. The current version of the Bolt, dubbed the V2, came out in May 2021, replacing the original grayscale version, which was itself a great little bike computer. So how does the newer V2 Bolt compare? Is it still a great little bike computer? In short, yeah. Here are four things I like and two things to bear in mind about the newer Bolt, starting with the positives. Number one, the user interface. In short, it's simple and intuitive. The Bolt and the Wahoo Element smartphone app work seamlessly together. Device menus are clean and straightforward, partly because some of the setting, uh, setting is offloaded to the app. That won't suit everyone, but for me, chef's kiss. Number two, the screen. I love this screen. It's the best I've seen on a bike GPS device, or at least equal best. The display is sharp and bright. The text and numbers are well defined and easy to read. It has a nice matte finish that reduces reflections on a sunny day. The Bolt V2 has a colour display, although Wahoo hasn't gone full rainbows and unicorn vomit. Colour usage is subtle, but definitely improves the map displays and the turn-by-turn -turn directions. Number three, the buttons. Yes, buttons, but hear me out. I like how they feel. They have a rubbery textured surface and a nice positive click to them. I particularly like the three on the front. They're easy to access while riding. They change function depending which screen you're on. Handy labels appear on the screen to tell you what that function might be. And finally, they don't collect rainwater, which is more than can be said for the buttons on the Bolt V1. Number four, Battery life. The Bolt V2 seems to go ages between charges. It has more than enough juice to keep going over a number of my longer rides. And when it does need a power up, it has an up-to-date USB-C port for rapid charging. And now for a couple of downsides, or at least things to bear in mind. First, admittedly, the display is quite small, but then this is designed as a compact bike computer. There's a trade-off. Perhaps if you need it mainly for navigation, a larger screen would allow you to see more map. For me though, I've found it big enough. A bit like me in the trouser department. Second, whilst it has all the key features to support your riding and training, the Bolt doesn't have all the bells and whistly ones from the likes of Garmin. But then, maybe you value simplicity and ease of use in which case the Bolt wins. And there we have it, a great looking compact Velo GPS that looks pro on my bike, even if I do not. You may have noticed this video is a bit shorter than my usual ones. It's a bit of an experiment. If you enjoyed it, then please do hit the like button. I plan to intersperse some shorter and longer videos going forward. Make sure you subscribe to see all of them. Links to my longer form videos are in the description. Encore un tête!